Hey, Indian Cinemaniacs, what's going on? Hey, Hello. Guys, how's it going? Good. All right. Fantastic. Good week, good week. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, Chris is going to start off the review of Super Deluxe because our Indian friends have invited have him to speak it. more. They, <laughs> no, they, they felt it. like we were suppressing you, Chris. I, I don't okay. feel that, but maybe, maybe, you know, maybe there's some subconsciously, we know that you're too smart for us, so we didn't want you to talk that much, but well, this well, is your opportunity. Yeah, don't blow it. And I'm excited. Yeah, don't you know, blow it. This. So we'll do Super Deluxe and then we'll spin the wheel. We're, the wheel is getting. I know. Yeah, smaller, we're getting much less on the wheel. Yes. Ralph, uh, before Chris goes, can I just say one thing? Um, as everybody knows, uh, our father passed away, and we had a celebration of life. Ralph came down to uh, up to Massachusetts. We had a, a actually wonderful celebration. It couldn't have gone any better. I think my father would have loved it. But what nice. I wanted to say was the uh, show of support that you guys gave us in the comment section was pretty overwhelming. And I want you to know how much Ralph and I appreciate it. It was surprising. Actually, it shouldn't be surprising because you guys have been very thoughtful throughout this whole thing. But uh, it, it really took us a little bit by surprise. And I want you to know how much it meant to us. And we really, really appreciate all the kind words you guys said. So thank you for that. Really appreciate it. And in yeah. fact, your kindness was so overwhelming that Uncle and Auntie, Sean and Debbie, had to take a break yes. to recover because were, of the love that yeah. you have given them, yeah. which um, is very kind. Yeah. So they unfortunately right. couldn't make it tonight, but uh, they are okay. I know yeah. some of you will start well, seeing that. They are I'm okay. sure we'll be hearing about it in the comments. That yes. they well, are it also gives Chris more time to speak. So yes, that's right. All yeah, we're going to give well. him. In fact, and I think Dad would get a little uh, 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 frustrated by the amount of times we keep bringing him up. So. I don't think so, because Dad uh, said just, to me, yeah, he said, just get on with it. Get Dad on with said it. to Let's me go. a couple of weeks ago, John, I've watched your show a few times, and the only thing I'm disappointed about is Chris doesn't really get to say that much. Right. Yeah, see? I'd and to, to be fair, we've tried to more. lay out a couple of uh, uh, trailer reaction videos that just don't go. We copyright get copyright music. hits. We've done three of them, happened. and we can't get them posted. Oh, but even I know there's three of them. It, yeah, it's yeah, crazy. it's awful. All right, so Chris, let's talk about Super Deluxe. All right. Well, Super Deluxe is a 2019 uh, film that came out. It is directed by, and forgive me for the butcher job I'm about to do, uh, Tia Gara John Kumara. I, I'm you got I'm the director. It. That sounds perfect. The director. Um, it's uh, and and what we've been doing is we've been kind of looking at kind of these somewhat ridiculous IMDb synopsises, and it says an unfaithful newlywed wife and her estranged. An estranged father, a priest, and an angry son finally so find themselves in the most un unexpected predicaments, each poised to experience their destiny all in one fateful day. And while that somewhat covers what this movie is, uh, also it, it also leaves out the angry son's friends who actually get far more screen time than the angry son yeah. and his... Um, his uh what do you call it his subplot of of the film um super deluxe is um it is it is something completely different from anything we've watched so far That's and sure. i was on board for it from the moment it started wow. like it i found it to be i love the multiple storylines um and i loved just all 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 of the four essential storylines um, I thought it kept me guessing the whole time. Um, so essentially what really we start out with is, um, you know, a newlywed wife who is talking to her. Will there be spoilers? Uh, we can have a spoiler section. I'll start out with like, yeah, Act I guess this is there's spoilers recent. in this I mean, movie. So yeah, there's some I mean, serious, and it's not that old. old. Yeah. So, so what we'll do is maybe we do like kind of like an act one yeah. initial random thoughts, then we'll go into spoiler, yeah. spoiler yeah. territory. So in act one, which look, is look, now he's directing. You wow. guys have really Chris is really taking good. Control. Chris, you're really that's stepping awesome. up. Wow. Maybe right. that's maybe that's think, why they don't let me speak. You know, the this is what's been missing. The mic, it's like hard to get it away from me again. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but um, but essentially what it is is it starts out, there's a a, a beautiful young wife. Did you recognize uh, her? Uh, not off the top of my head. She was the Same woman, woman in the fly movie. The fly movie. Yeah, she's the lead. She's yeah. Bindu and Ega. Uh, yeah. How can man, I just watched these things like that. She didn't look the same. She looks completely different. She did not look very different. She grew up. Yeah. A little more mature. Exactly. Um in a good way. Anyway, so anyway, sorry. She anyway, she basically she cheats on her husband with her high school or college boyfriend, who she was truly in love with. Her she's in an arranged marriage, which um 
is funny because that is that's still a very common thing uh that happens in india i had a, an indian friend i used to work with he uh he was a little older he was well into his 30s and he basically was like mom i need your help and she found him a lovely wife and they have a lovely family now so it it definitely works in in, in a lot of cases i'm sure um but that being said uh so this guy surprisingly enough he dies in her bed and then all of a sudden this yeah she effed him to death yes basically and he just had a <laughs> He was under a lot of stress. Yes, anyway. he was. He owed he owed some gangsters money or something. Yeah, he he owed some Shylock's money, and it was really it was really kind of a mess. And uh, but so what's funny about that scene is, or what I liked about this movie and how it really kept me guessing was, you know, I thought I I knew how that was going to start to play out, right? I thought I knew how that was going to start to play out, and it didn't. It totally said, "Hey, guess what? The husband who comes home, he finds the guy in five minutes." You right. know, but there are these other people from downstairs. And so he's under a lot of uh, unusual societal pressure to not make a big deal out of this or make it public, right? And so he's like, no, we're going to get rid of this body. And um, so so that that whole thing starts. And then there's a young boy who seems to be waiting for his father to come home. And we're like, and you get the feeling that he's like, his parents have been lying to him. And each and every day he's refreshed with a hope anew. But this time, hey, he does the drum roll at the door every time. Yeah, and comes this in. time <laughs> his <laughs> parent shows up, but not quite in the way everyone expects. Um, his his father is now transitioning to a woman, and she shows up, wig, sorry, the whole nine yards, makeup on, and uh, the funny thing is, is the son is just thrilled to have him back, right? Or her back in this. And case. that kid was excellent in this. Movie. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. Incredible. We'll talk incredible. about that. Yeah, we'll yeah. talk about that. Incredible. And then, then the next storyline is <laughs> uh, one of the these four buddies, right? Super Young men, teenage horny guy, guys, bunch super of horny bad. guys, super horny dudes, <laughs> who are like going through all this stuff to like get, you know, and watch a porno. And when they finally go through this contraption to cover their bases, and they sit down and they start watching it, one of them is like. I think that's my mom. <laughs> okay, there's a little bit of no, a spoiler. He knows. He a little knows. bit of a spoiler. Well, yeah, I mean, you got to tell. Yeah, I mean, that yeah. was a spoiler. But that's, this is all act one. Yeah. This well, he breaks the TV, right? Yeah. So he breaks the breaks TV. the TV. So now the one guy is like, I got to figure out how to get this TV fixed. My dad's pissed. Yeah. Right, and then then comes in this ca- uh, Christian pastor, priest, whatever, who survived the tsunami, right? Um, and so he's there, and he's kind of like preaching and honestly i thought of all of the stories his was the weakest well he's related to the he's the father of the kid he's the father of the the kid but saw his wife saw his mother in the porno oh yes 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 that's the connection there so there's three basic stories but it's yeah they're happening at the same time mm -hmm. i think the same time i felt like though to be honest with you i felt the whole element and don't get me wrong they kind of pull it all together at the very end which we won't talk about now but I felt like his whole storyline was kind of the weakest, to be honest. Really? You, Not you, that it was bad. I didn't feel but that. Okay. Because it, it mm-hmm. has a payoff that I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, the payoff is, yeah. is, is pretty solid. So, but long story short, so it all happens in one day too, which I always kind of like that format because it always kind of heightens the tension um, that, you know, things are going on and, and, and they've been running around. And so anyway, that's the basic setup of this film. Uh, like I said, I thought it was really extremely well acted well written clever kept me guessing what did you guys think i agree with you um i i you know like all these films most of these films it takes a while to get rolling right Mm -hmm. you gotta really go okay i gotta i gotta stay through this because i know the payoff is going to be usually pretty good yeah and yeah, there was one or two stories that I, you know, I really enjoyed the story of the, the, the girl who, you know, has her boyfriend die in the bed with them and how, how the husband ends up relating with her trying to get rid of the body. And it turned into the old, uh, what's that movie with the dead guy in the island? Weekend yeah. of Bernie's. <laughs> Weekend of Bernie's because yeah. they had him in the back seat yeah. and, you know, he's, you know, they're trying to figure he's out. He's talking to him. Disposed the body. They're trying, they're gonna, they threw him out with the, well, spoilers, but okay. So you got that story. You got the story of the dad who comes home as the mom, as a woman, and the kid, and his relationship with that little kid, and then the third one about the kid who sees his mother in the porno and how the the adventure that those friends go on. He doesn't go on it because I I I, I got to admit I don't know. Did he stab himself or did something yeah. stab? No, him? no, no. He went. No, he to stab fell. her. 
fell and stabbed himself. Yeah, he went to stab his mother yeah. with a screwdriver. Yeah, he went to stab yeah. his mother. Yeah. The okay. whore. Yeah, the screwdriver. Sorry. The whore. Okay. The whoa. Um, just so, an actress. I don't but, know what the big deal is. <laughs> the yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the adventures of those three guys to get the money and all the, the gangster they have to go talk to and all this stuff. Idi Amin. Idi yeah, Amin. Uh, Idi yeah. Amin. Yeah. And all the, the all the American movies, a lot of Star Wars. I don't know oh, if you yeah. noticed, but when yeah. the mattress uh, thing, gee, thing. Gee, yeah. They hit yeah. you over the head with it. Did we yeah, notice and it? And may the be with you with the force. You know, they yeah. reversed them. Yeah, and yeah. even he, that gangster, was quoting some movie, a, a recent film. I forget the quote he did, but it was a recent film. I just thought they were kind of funny. Um, And then I'm, I'm trying to figure out and we'll talk about it in spoilers how all this stuff wraps up and boy did it <laughs> and yeah. boy did it uh and i can't wait to talk about those connections but i really really enjoyed this film and thoroughly couldn't get over that woman from the fly movie mm-hmm. to this film mm-hmm. uh it's she like i didn't realize it was the same person until i looked it up a uh, and i even loved her husband the yeah. the relate the, 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 the interaction those two yeah. had through the whole thing and and if it were an american film it would have done something slightly different than this one did i think but they stuck to their guns on this one and i really enjoyed that so well there also my- was another um actress that you should recognize from another movie that we watched um ramya krishnan she played the mother of mm. the boy who stabbed himself she was uh, sivagami the queen mother in Bali. Oh, the one who held oh. her hand out of the water, the one and the raised over the river. Mm-hmm. Oh really? wow! So, okay, and she's she's great too. I mean, yeah. all the performances are great. Just yeah. the, that that dirty cop alone was it was. Really oh, I forgot about oh, that. God, yeah. 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 awful, yeah. awful. Like what he, you, John, I don't know. John and Drew. Yeah, wait, let me ask one question, Ralph. Did you watch this in the car, or did maybe no, you I and John get to a, watch this together? No, I watched this on a fairly. No, we were supposed to watch it together, but he we couldn't. He went bowling instead. Like uh that. i watched it on a 32 inch diagonal you know diagonal right. that's diagonal. big for you oh, they yeah, still make them that but size? i sat super close to it at that good well that's super because, deluxe you'd be because i watched close. it i watched it on a 65 inch tv and i even yeah. turned the lights out this movie is gorgeous it was gorgeous. Oh, yeah i mean wow yeah like really so yeah. beautiful and i'm not saying that just because a lot of the color palette was the same as mad max fury roads blue it had a very orange burnt orange but color was, palette I mean, just gorgeous. Yeah. And the one thing I, I, I want to say before I forget is it's not a spoiler. One thing I don't really under, like, I just can't relate to it. The fact that this was um, a movie uh, from Southern India that broke out and was seen across India and th- they had never seen anything like this. And this is, you know, I mean, the, the quality of the production is world class. That was apparently a really big deal that yeah. this movie, you know, broke out and did that. It didn't. Um, you know, it didn't become a box office hit internationally or anything, but it it's clearly influenced by foreign films, and yet I think very, very much its own you know personal thing. And I thought that was really kind of neat to to see that. Um, one one quick question before we move on to John and Drew's opinion. Um, Super Deluxe is that the name of the movie theater they end up that the, the porno is playing at? Because there's sitting, that was the sign on the roof. At yeah, the there's end. a lot of conversations around that sign. Super Deluxe. Yeah. Uh, hmm. So, so that must curious. have been the movie theater, I okay. guess. All right, John and Drew, what'd you guys say? Uh, yeah, I, uh, so <laughs> for the first 40 minutes, I had trouble staying awake. So I actually stopped watching it and then finished watching it the next day. I, I just found the beginning boring. It's slow. Um, yeah, it was, it was a little too slow for me. This movie, um, there were things about it I liked, but overall, uh, this, I'm not a big fan of this film. It was too confusing for me. The things that tied up at the end, like like uh, the geography, I, I was very confused about the geography, how the, how a certain scene happens. The, the 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 story I was most interested in was uh, the woman who you know the guy dies. That was the one I was most invested in. I found that funny when he did the drunk scene where he's oh acting and he's just great. drinking the water and he just went on and on and on. But their rapport was really really good. I mean their chemistry was wonderful, and she was. Um, even though there were some harrowing things that happened to her, she was pretty comedic in her delivery, um, responding to him. Well, anyway, but, and her face is, yeah, the, the faces she's making mm-hmm. in the car as he's playing the drunk. She's like, oh, here yeah, he goes again. It was yeah, just so, great. but that yeah, was such a good. funny scene. Right. It felt um, very real. And yeah. it was, yeah. it was uh, like, I was curious about the, the long shots. You know, they, they did a lot of stuff where all the action happened way, way in the background. It was an interesting choice. I, I agree with Drew the color. Uh, the cinematography and color were great. 
uh, that I did enjoy. But overall, I just found the I found it way too confusing, and the things didn't. And, and there's one thing that comes out of left field. Oh yeah, uh, with with the with the boys that made no sense at all. So I was like, okay, so they just did that just to do it. It didn't really connect to anything, really. Well, we'll talk we'll about talk that. about that. Now, yeah, like yeah. Tarantino does it, like with uh, Pulp Fiction, he he did it, and and everything kind of intersected. And here, it almost felt like some things were forced to intersect that really didn't. Uh, that's at least how I felt when I was watching it. So this this didn't do it for me, and I was surprised because uh, the way people raved about this movie, and maybe for them it was so different than anything like was Drew was talking about. Uh, unlike anything that ever seen but for me that 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 one story and 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 the kid that little boy was like just i couldn't believe how good that kid was yeah. and i don't know how old yeah. he was yeah. but what a performance that yeah. the, the just even that the way he handled it at the end when the when he when she was going to leave and and he he was mad that she was going to leave and said i want you here man or woman I, that was just wonderful i i really enjoyed that but overall i'm not a big fan of this movie the Zuby don't sounds like uh, uh, that's, that's don't skip to the end okay. yeah Sorry. Well, that's just so I, I i agree with john that this was a, a slow start um i found myself um mostly at the beginning just admiring how gorgeous every shot was and and this whole world that they because it wasn't it wasn't you know a luxurious world it wasn't like no. looking at the the um the great kingdoms of bahubali right. or something it was very real but also really gorgeous and it wasn't like everything was at magic hour. It was just, this is the color of this place. And this is the place we've bumped it when we did the, the color timing and, and, you know, produce this film. And it reminded me of movies like, um, Amoris Peros, uh, and crash and Babel and crash, especially is just a giant pile of poop, especially for being a, a best picture winner. But this was almost, some of it was almost like lower intensity version of all these people's lives um coming together because some of it it was like this is the biggest thing that's happened in your life and the most critical thing that's happened in your life but they weren't all about murder or violence or whatever and there were a lot of things that i found like i wasn't trying to i didn't spend any time watching the movie going i want to try to put this puzzle together i wonder where they're going. i just sort of let it take me and that's why some things were surprises like the conversation that Arputam has um, with the little boy's mom in the underpass. I did not expect that. I didn't, so what I ended up wondering is where, when chronologically are these stories going to intersect? And of yeah. course the, the last scene is like the biggest example of that right. and, and, and great. I mean, I laughed out loud, it was great. But um, it also let me, because it didn't, I didn't feel like it was pressuring me to follow it like a puzzle. It let me really, really enjoy the performances. And there were some just wonderful wonderful performances. And the note that I wrote is that this is the longest three hour movie that we've watched, but that's not bad because it's not like it's glacial or leaden or something. It's just, it takes its time. Yeah. And I found that it was worth it to let it take its time. And that was not, I wasn't sure of that 40 minutes in, as John yeah. said, where we were yeah. going with it, but it, it, it worked for me and it was just really sumptuous and beautiful to watch. So Thanks yeah, for the I want to mention everybody. the cinematography because when I first started watching, I was like, wow, every shot is locked down. Like there wasn't a lot of camera movement. Mm -hmm. And they were, he was doing a Wes Anderson. I, I assume it's a male director, but they were, he was doing a Wes Anderson thing where everything was very symmetrical. Like, especially mm -hmm. the kids oh, scenes yeah. when the doors are opening up, he shot a lot down hallways. Yeah. And then he started getting very creative as the movie goes on some of the the camera movement some of the shots were starting to to, to mm -hmm. do some things that he wasn't doing at the beginning and i think it, that was ramping up as the movie was ramping up and i never i thought i was going to be watching three separate stories that had no intermingling and then when it all comes together at the end in its various ways i was like oh wow and there's there's some things that are happening <laughs> in radio reports that are going on that relate right, right. to something that right. happened before and things like that so i was just i was in it for the three stories as it was and then when they started intersecting i was like oh my god that is brilliant and we'll talk about in spoilers the the scene with the husband and the girl which was for me both the suspense in that scene and the way it concludes is just like wow boom home run i mean he got me on that yep. one so yep. and we can talk about that I guess we'll talk about spoilers now. Are we good to well, go? Well, let me just say one other thing about yep. the, the pacing that I, I, it just occurred to me. A lot of 
some of the scenes they feel, especially when the crisis start to happen, they feel sort of stretched out, but they also feel more real. Like when the little boy disappears in the market and his mom is like, it feels like she says a hundred times, Rasukuti, where are you? Rasukuti, Rasukuti. But you know what? It, you might be a, pan, a parent that panics and you just don't know what to do. And so the right. vendor keeps telling her, go look for your son, go find your son, go find your son. So it didn't end up being like, why is this movie stuck? It ended up it sort of uh, connecting me to her, her fear, which, you know, we already saw what a world they live in and how she was taken advantage of and all these other things. So some of the stuff really felt like, like when they're banging on the door to, to get to, to let, um, to, to get the boy from Arputam, from his temp- little temple there that felt like it just kept going and going and going but that didn't feel unrealistic so it's it's a lot of there's something really bad happening and i have to wait and that makes it feel even worse and they somehow gave me that feeling well and neat, as we've actually. seen in these films they stretch things out a lot i mean they yeah. do let things breathe and open whatever the pacing is these they they tend to do it in these more than it was any- also the most liberal use of the f word in that's this true movie than okay. any other movie that we've watched i think that's people true. brought that up that you're going to hear a lot that. of that i i barely even you didn't it. notice that i noticed it by it far that's something that you've I, got I, those I, fucking american ears so you're <laughs> used to it <laughs> I'm I'm used to so dang man all right so, so let's uh let's go uh we'll do spoilers some spoilers spoilers so spoiler. if you if you don't want to hear these spoilers then move to the end when we spin the wheel for the next film but yeah and then come back after you've seen the film and see if we're right or wrong about this so oh, before before we get into spoilers chris is there anything we... else that you'd like to say oh yes oh, I, um, i'm sorry actually there is one thing that you when, you, for when you mentioned crash mm-hmm. Drew, i just instantly assumed because i've actually i've never seen crash that one best picture mm-hmm. i've never seen it um so i just instantly assumed you were talking about david cronenberg's crash yeah the good one I absolutely the good one right before which yeah. is great yeah. um anyway and to our audience if you would like to enjoy a discussion of the movie crash you can find it on one of our other shows movie strange uh and if you ever thought i don't know how do cars and sex really fit together that movie figures it out <laughs> anyway nope that's about it all let's right let's talk spoilers. about spoilers who wants to start well chris speak yeah. please you, you don't speak enough. yeah um <laughs> well <laughs> when it comes to the spoilers um you know john i know what you meant like that sequence with the alien i was like what is going on here oh come on and i it really so bad it was great it, it at one point i was like this is really i, I it, it felt like it was kind of screwing things up it was tainting things but i'm not gonna lie somehow or another i bought into it when it kind of brought it all back at the end when they're in <laughs> Well, they the cloned him too. Don't forget, they cloned the kid. Yeah. yeah, but they're also in the porno theater, and the guy's talking about like kind of this. You know, he's talking at you. He's doing mm-hmm. this narration about being better and changing right. and evolving and all this stuff. And then I kind of bought into it. You know, I was like, "Well, then they cut to the sexy nurse that was to his left." <laughs> yes, that yeah. wasn't bad either. That's right. true. But it's the idea that you know what that even, um, you know the 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 mother father who's transitioning the person who's transitioning right and how the son is like i don't care i want you here yeah. and mom's the same way and at yeah. first and it beautiful and, you, and it was like you began to realize that she had never actually said anything bad about him you know she had never real like everybody else is he's terrible he's awful he's the worst ever and then when he comes back they're like they keep calling her it and it's just it's really painful to watch you know and then at the end there the three of them are just sitting there and you're like wow that's that's really sweet and it's not going to be easy but it it's it's going to be okay you know you get that feeling for them and um but yeah i mean i know what you mean john that that alien popping out of nowhere i was like what like because it wasn't even hinted at like it wasn't even like they weren't dropping little you know breadcrumbs and then you're like oh that's what they meant by that it just comes out of nowhere i gotta tell you when she was taking off her dress i was like oh this is gonna get a little spicy in an indian movie then all of a sudden the skin came off i said what the hell is that you know no they didn't even show the skin come off they just showed the mirror of the yeah, alien right. that was the it. alien I mean, yeah. and, and it's there. total obviously cgi but still yeah. i mean that was you the think? one but but around all that with the bags floating and the way they did the camera when he's cloning the guy and the kid and and that kid's reaction when he got cloned you know you're a good looking guy i like the yeah. way you look oh, that's <laughs> funny i just and and the guys couldn't speak they're all speaking with esp <laughs> right right so mm-hmm. no, no, yes no. it came out of nowhere but i think she wraps 
because uh, I think that connects to okay. Let's talk about the end of the the girl and the husband. Okay. Well, yeah. before before we get to that, let me address something about the alien thing because the, I thought the alien thing was great. I was as surprised as you guys were, but I think part of what the movie is saying is that even if you're having very serious problems in your life, like my son is dying. Um, I have to get rid of a body. I'm being threatened with, you know, sexual assault by the police, whatever it is, the world is actually much bigger than you. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. It's not nihilistic. It's not saying the world is bigger than you. So your problems don't mean anything. It's saying the world is a big place and the world is a small place in a much bigger place. So to have aliens show up and have who knows what agenda and all this kind of stuff, it was like, okay, all right, if that's where we're going. And I loved when they, um, I don't know if you noticed, I actually took a uh, screen cap of it. I'll send it to you if you want to put it in. When the clones said goodbye, when they embraced the shirt for the first time lined up a full cat. Oh, oh I was wondering about that. that and shirt I thought that so looked, that was just, it's like yeah. the movie is full of little touches yeah. like that. And I, I am confident there are a lot of little things like that that I missed yeah, not sure. being in The Indian. shirt thing, because I kept seeing a shirt through the whole thing. I never noticed that. Yeah, was it was great. But the, yeah. I mean, the, the alien thing was almost kind of, like without the movie going to some crazy fast paced thing, it was almost this kind of big delirious decision. Well, and it, it made the whole nowhere. movie move and i i don't know i really dug it it was I, fun yeah i well i and you know, like when she said you think aliens only go to america right that was a great yeah, line that was, yeah. that was a great line um but i think that okay so let's connect these a little bit so that scene with the husband and the wife trying to get rid of the body and they meet the cop that's trying to you know that that sees them as trying to blackmail him and, and ultimately is going to uh you know he's got him handcuffed to the car and he's going to rape he's going to rape that woman his you know he's, he's mm -hmm. set up that whole thing and I'm thinking how, and, and the way that it was killing me, the way the husband was begging him not to do it, sir, sir, sir. I'm thinking now if that were American film, somehow he would get out of the handcuffs and he would, right. you know, save the girl, but that's not going to, you realize that's not going to happen. But when that, <laughs> when that TV comes over the top and <laughs> knocks him out and you knew it was a TV that the dudes had not just, they didn't just throw it no. over. Right. So that's not connected right. editorially. It's connected thematically because. You know, how did that happen? Was that happening at the same time? Did yes. they just yeah. find a garage yes, and they threw this thing in and yeah. they found a place kill, to dump it? It kills the guy. Yeah. That was yeah, amazing. I, that to me, but but then he does this shot where he looks up and a plane goes right. flying by. Implying mm -hmm. that it fell out of the plane. Okay, that's what that implication was. That, that's because what Because there's thought. also another shot of a same thing. They look up at a roof and another plane went by when the little boy was, I think, either searching or getting lost. Something about a plane going by was a theme throughout this thing. Mm -hmm. And I thought the alien might have somehow there was a, you know, it's all connected. Like these kids are now that, that things are all out of whack and it really wasn't happening at the same time. But you know, these things just happen. That was yeah, no, that's the thing. It was, it was a random, it was yeah. a random thing. They, they didn't, like you said, editorially, they didn't cut it as one shot no. on the top to it, one it shot on the bottom, but that later. was all, right. yeah, that was all ha that's, and that's why the surprise was so effective. And I that's mean, right. I laughed. It, I thought out it was loud great. i was like holy shit because that the, was the other thing is that what this I, cop is doing is he's not just going to to rape this woman which I is think he was going to rape pretty awful too. well but that was implied but he also basically made it clear like he i don't think he was kidding when he said i'm going to get us an apartment so it's yeah, like oh, i can yeah. blackmail you and extort you and rape you indefinitely so this guy whatever is about to happen that we're all going oh my god don't let it happen that was going to be the beginning of something horrendous and for him to just suddenly be gone and from right. those kids having that absolutely crazy day of their own, it was just great. Yeah, it was just so satisfying. And, say, and then, like, um, and then yeah. I like the way their story ended. I'm talking about mm -hmm. the the husband and wife. Like mm -hmm. I said, in an American film, they're going to fall in love again, and it's all going to. But it wasn't like that. He's like he's they they're friends, but it's still in that same. He knows she doesn't want to be with him, and he's like, I don't want to. I don't want to talk to you either. Let's just move on. Right. It was. I thought yeah. that was that was great yeah yeah and it's it, it's also i also like that little part where she's like or he said it um and you figure this is probably something he took up he found out when he was like a, you know he's auditioning for some role he's like tear a dollar bill or tear tear some money in half put half in his pocket and half in his wallet like somehow or another that was going to connect them in some kind of right like, right like conspiracy or something but john you were right the scene where he plays drunk with a bottle of water 
was oh, hilarious. So funny. Was hilarious. And it just went on too. You thought he'd go for a few minutes, right? But no, she gets out of the car. And then he, I there. think, he, right? I think he even acted hungover when it was done. He yeah. like played up like he was hungover. That the other was, thing that was really was funny was because th- that scene where where Berlin is heading towards her and she mm-hmm. and he's handcuffed and she's crying and yeah. he's getting upset. Then when the TV hits him, the expression on both their faces <laughs> yeah, was epic. just completely opposite of how they were just feeling it was so funny the way they did that but yeah. that's the one i really liked i got into that one because i like i said their chemistry was really really good and they had a lot of funny stuff that they were doing the only thing like berlin he was the same guy that um had uh the, uh, the yeah assaulted her in the police station well, yeah that's that's what i was going to say is that you know we she shilpa won't know this because shilpa right. was you know was also sexually assaulted by him and then that scene where she struggles to reach through several police officers to curse him and she does it she's not going to know that that's what happened but we right. know, mm-hmm. you know oh wait if, a minute if there's that's anything the same, moving wait, in, yeah yeah that's, that's the, the same, same dude same yeah, yeah. He, oh yeah. my god, god. How could you know the curse him. the curse paid off yeah yeah, yeah. Like, oh we, we my know god that. We know <laughs> that. But i had no idea thing, that was the but what's guy. cool about that is shilpa doesn't like shilpa is you know is humiliated and angry and violated and she as i said she does they go after him you think she's trying to claw his eyes out or something she just wants to right. curse him and then run away but then it doesn't matter like there's all these things that in that storyline for people to be ashamed of and to be upset about and that kid is like i'm not a test you baby but right. i don't care right. because my my dad is back and you're my mom now and i don't care because no, i love that you. kid made and that it was beautiful whole, that kid wrapped that whole thing up that yeah, it was kid beautiful. was amazing the shilpa got justice she she didn't yeah. even know about and you know they're and gonna be okay a happy family i mean it's yeah. gonna be hard but they're gonna be a happy family yeah. and that kid was the reason for that 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 yeah. that was like the kid and the champ when uh what's his name ricky, ricky schroeder. schroeder is crying get up get up i had that same feeling with this kid like that was gut-wrenching mm-hmm. the, and especially when he's talking in through the door when he finally says he, he slips that sleep a piece of paper the, the the reason the kid ran away and the thing was the he saw that his father's right. like, yeah, mother yeah. was going to run right. away right. and he slips right. it through there and the kid comes back through and but he has to do the drum roll first yeah and yeah. i'm getting chills right now just thinking about that yeah. i was like well that's 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 great yeah. and then let's get to the the mother porn <laughs> porn star yeah. mother and her husband who was you know survived the um tsunami, tsunami. tsunami. by hanging on to that rock. hanging on to the jesus statue which right. turns out had the diamonds loaded in there with diamonds. Yeah. the kids operation <laughs> i mean and you know it, it, and he was forsaking god i think he was forsaking god at that moment and slamming the thing down and the diamonds yeah. pour out and that's when the, you hear the news report about this thing right. started in africa yeah, no, he, he broke the thing. idol and that right. saved his son it's right. interesting. It just it just brilliant stuff and um i i i love this film i don't know are there any other spoilers that we kind of i didn't think over? you know the one performance i did not like was the cop i thought i thought the cop berlin was just too too uh, seedy. almost i mean he was too a, car- yeah. no it wasn't even that it was too cartoonish oh. mm-hmm. it was like there was nothing uh rooted in any kind of reality at all with his performance where all the other ones as absurd as some of the situations were were still root you know there was some truthfulness in it and it just wasn't with i didn't feel it with him at all like uh the funny i thought the funny scene was when they, when they threw the mattress out the window with the body yeah. in it and the arm comes out yeah, i just yeah. thought that was so funny and the way he reacted when he opened the fridge he opens yeah, the yeah. Fridge. and then he <laughs> yeah, says and he's trying to be cool but but berlin was the one performance i was like it, it didn't fit with the rest of the movie it was just so snidely whiplash yeah see yeah. I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna disagree with you because he demonstrated over and over in the movie that he had absolute power and he was also absolutely corrupt because i mean he's basically following people he know committed he doesn't know the details but they committed a murder and so how can i make that work for me and so to have that kind of you know uh, unlimited power over people and to see what he did with it is not he did nothing good with his power he didn't help the neighborhood or anything i I think that he would act um as entitled and as ugly as he wants to and obviously in his heart he's a terrible person yeah right. so i think that he really thought like i really think he thinks he's funny you know like making jokes about people and what he's going to do to them and all that kind of stuff so for him the, of course a lot of the movie is about acting and the roles that you play so he was acting the the sort of part of what i mean i don't he probably thinks it's he's funny a, a i just um, or something <clears throat> i just thought of this i just i watched deliverance last night I don't oh, know. That's a fun one. I, I watched the Kansas City Chiefs win. As soon as that game was over, I didn't watch anything else. I go, I got to go see Deliverance. 
Did Kansas City winning make you want to watch Deliverance? I t- no, no, I've been listening to a podcast during the oh, day, okay. and that's why. But Say, but yeah. it, that scene <laughs> where he's tormenting those two, where he, where he handcuffs the kid, and he's tormenting her as he's backing her up into his love pad, that was as gut-wrenching to me as the, the, the rape scene in Deliverance. Sure. I mean, it's different levels, but I, was, I had the same, because uh, it went on and yeah, on that's the and dread on, of it. and the pleading from both of them. Yeah. And she's pleading to the husband, who can't do anything. I'm putting myself in that guy's position going, this guy can't do anything. And that's why he's pleading, please, sir, please, sir. He's begging the guy not to do it. And the guy just kept coming at him. Well, they gave him misdirection, too, because they did a close-up when he removed the gun. He put the gun on the back seat, and they I mean. held that's... it for a second. And I was right. like, okay, he's somehow going to get Check out and grab gun. that I'm gun. I'm thinking, okay, he's yeah. going to do something. So that's why the TV was such a big deal. Yeah, he was a relief. TV. The TV yeah. was a relief. Oh, yeah. He was like, oh, my God. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I, yeah, there were some you know, straw dogs in that as well, like being yeah. that powerless. Right. You know, it was. Yeah. Well, this was lot. movie. I mean, as all the movies we've seen, the culture when it comes to sex is very different. And in Americans, and every story had something to do with sex. I mean, that mm-hmm. that was the thread throughout this movie, and yeah. it was. I found that really interesting because the movies we watch, there's very little touching. You know, men touching women, they just don't show that culturally. <laughs> So I, I thought that was kind of you mean in Indian, yeah, in Indian, yeah, in Indian film, really yeah, to, right. Know. This They're was very, very different. They're very chaste, but yeah. Well, but I don't this this was a very sexy scene at the beginning. I mean, I don't care. Well, she, well, she, yeah, I'm telling you, she beautiful. looked. But we didn't see her. I mean, it's not like seeing her. It's no, the but the uh, the uh, subtitles read moaning. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> you heard that several times. Moaning. Uh, I said, "Gee, what's wow. going on in there?" Yeah, that's interesting. You know, there is the sex is the thread throughout all of that this. is, and well, um, absolutely, it's a good point and and uncomfortable sex right so mm-hmm. for Often. some people seeing your mother in a porn would be very uncomfortable having somebody <laughs> drop think? dead while you know with his boot dying with his boots on uncomfortable and then a transgender yep. person yeah. coming home both uncomfortable for that person and everybody around that yep. person except for the little boy and like you said the wife you know it's just so i i as i'm talking about this more i even like this film even more but even that um, scene at the end with the boy when he was sitting on the couch you weren't sure why he ran away because the uh, the she was getting attacked by all the different people and they almost made it seem like he ran away because he couldn't deal with that anymore and that's what she was thinking. Yeah. So that scene played out very different yeah. when she started inquiring about it. Why did you run away? Then you find out because I saw the ticket. Right. So they they right. that was a misdirection too in that scene, which I thought was brilliantly played by both yeah. of them. And the mother too. The mother didn't say anything, but the looks on her face said right. everything. And especially when you when you factor in that there's that really, maybe a little too long. There's that sequence in that tunnel with the green, yeah, yeah. Um, with the with the preacher and her, and there, and then she's talking, and you know, and he's like, "That's just a story they tell to scare kids." And she's like, "No, you know, I did that. I right. didn't know what I was doing, and I'm." And he's like, no, I can never forgive you for that. That's right. too terrible. Right. And then, you know, she's like completely lost it. And then when you get back, you're right. And she's just so happy to see him. And he's like, no, I know why you were over there. You were going to leave us again. Right. And that's why I split. It's such a great. Heart wrenching. That's why, like I said, this movie, like it's so many times it surprises you. You think you know how it's going to play out. And, and I'm sure with the four of us who watch as many movies as we do, many times we can we can see it in the distance you know um, yeah and i did not see that the, alien the scene coming, coming. Did <laughs> i did not see the coming. tv coming i'm not gonna lie the, the tv's the one that got me the alien thing you kind of go okay there this is weird oh that one the, you kind of i know i'm saying the no, one that shocked me was, was the tv coming over the top yeah it was as shocking as uh, a similar turn of events in dude where's my car <laughs> and um another another classic of film and i don't that know i like class. i like like you're saying you can see it coming i like when a movie genuinely surprises yeah, yeah. me and some of these movies have been genuinely full of surprises like rrr for example yeah. because that's just not the kind not, of movie that we make it. and see right. in this right. country and so uh this movie in many ways like i said the movies that reminded me of it was more familiar the way it was written all that kind of stuff and it still managed to surprise me because it reminded me 
of movies. I don't know if you guys have seen these movies where somebody, and this was only the one of the storylines, but it's about how somebody is different and how does the community react and how does the family react? There was a movie called Ma Vie en Rose from, I don't know, like 25 years ago. It was a mm-hmm. Belgian movie about this little boy who is like, okay, so I'm a girl now and the family doesn't know what to do and the community doesn't know what to do and how do they help this kid but then the other version is lars and the real girl the ryan gosling movie where he falls in love he's a sort of like a quiet guy who falls in love with a sex doll and the shocking most shocking thing in the whole movie is everybody's like okay i mean it makes him happy so let's play along and the boy with the green hair with green stock well billy elliot is her hand yeah all that stuff i mean rasu kuti is the is the force to say i love you and yeah. that means that you get to live your life right you know it's better your life is better and that was quite beautiful well and the director had to have been a star wars fan because when that when that well everybody's a star wars over, fan i, I mean, know when that mattress it. goes over there it's playing the theme playing the theme yeah. and then the kid says to his clone may the force be with you well, yeah, he, well, he didn't say that he reversed but i do it. the thing let's i want just one more thing before i let chris talk some more and finish this out because <laughs> he needs to talk some more um those four, the three boys didn't change at all after that thing. All they wanted to do was no, see they wanted to watch porn. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> it was so because they're, 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 they're like real boys. 17 year old guys. Right. But yeah. it made it, it, they gave it a super bad vibe. They even talked about one of the videos they were going to get was super bad. So right. I said, okay, right. this is where they're going with this mm-hmm. particular mm-hmm. scene. Yeah. They mm-hmm. didn't, but that's what yeah, it Yeah, we didn't even like. talk about that. Like we did. We mentioned the gangster. They had to buy the TV for the gangster, too. He was slap. He slapped the kids around yeah. with his shoe, and you know, uh, yeah. it's just so That's much crazy. fun. And, and like I said, ducked. he was quoting American films all all the whole time. I just yep. can't remember what it was. Chris, wrap this oh, up. It, yeah, it's. But I I'm gonna just take it back one quick bit. I did really like what the mother ends up saying to her son, the woman who was in the adult films, right? And she's basically like, you know, millions of people saw me. You know, why do we? Why do we? think it's okay for people to watch these movies, but then we shame the people who are in them. And I just really, I really thought that the way that it pulled it all together was, uh, was, was really good. You know, even with the kind of the weird out of, out of left field alien thing, um, which, you know, I, I just was okay with. Um, and the fact that like, because, you know, but, but all in all, I, I just thought this movie really tied it up together. Um, and I, surprisingly enough, I didn't think this movie was too long. I know that's yeah, a complaint I, I have a lot. Like, I didn't think it was that slow at the beginning. Like I said, man, you know, the guy dies, he finds the body. Like, all of this, you know, I'm thinking, oh, it's going to be about her trying to hide the body from her husband and all this. Nope, he found yeah. it. He went to go get a Coke, and boom, there's a body, <laughs> body in the refrigerator. My only thing is, and now uh, this is obviously a plot thing, but I was at the same time, I was like, why are they in such a rush to get this body out of there? They got these people there. Why don't they just stick him under the bed and wait till they leave? And I guess it's because they wanted to do everything in a single day, obviously. So, you know. Well, plus, they said that's our alibi. Yeah, that's right. People are there, the people so we don't want to right. throw them. I'm not sure how it was to be a good alibi because, right. you know, we we left for six hours. So they'll yeah. say that we were like, these, these are also the same people who couldn't get the car hit by a train. That's the thing. Exactly. They weren't good at crime. They weren't. Hey, know? listen, when so. that little kid saw them and she, she got all evil on them, and yeah. the ex, the husband's looking at her like, where the hell did that come from? Yeah, I had no. to scare, I had to scare him. <laughs> she, he, he was scared. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that scene was great. great. Those, that that those that couple was great. yeah fun. Yeah, that was that. They were and that I, I'm gonna have to rewatch the him getting drunk scene because <laughs> yeah, oh, that yeah. was great. It was good. All right, so the question is, Zuby do or Zuby don't? We already gave away John's. I think right. No, I'll say I'll say based on the conversation, I'll say Zuby meh oh okay yeah good i i got yeah. my i'm I'll, a big zuby do i'll shift it i'll say zuby do as well i really thoroughly enjoyed this film oh yeah zuby do zuby do for sure i really i thought it was it was fun and thank you again for an excellent recommendation yeah, yeah. keep yeah. them coming uh you guys this path pathion what's the name of this film that's pathon right? pathon that's right i gotta go take a look that's right yeah in my that's local uh, movie that's with theater. con right who hasn't done a movie in a while the one Armier the good Khan's the bad rival. con or the good con yours is the good con is the good the well con? i've never seen the other what, I, what what's his name we should be saying his name i don't because he's he's so mr. big out there what's his name i have no idea mr khan <laughs> mr khan <laughs> it's a wrath of khan right the montalban khan uh shah sh, well, yeah exactly shah rukhan is that what it is 
Shah Rukh Khan. So those yes. two, your Khan and that Khan. Those two are rivals. I'm saying your Khan as if, you know. Yeah, well, Amir Khan, you know, that's my <laughs> Brad Fitt, Ralph. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. John, they've John been has, rivals, has big rivals, down for that. up for the same parts. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's been out for a while, and this is supposed to be a His big, first and big five, hit. Yeah, five years. but a big, big hit. And they're comparing it. Shit, I don't yeah. know how you can do it. They're comparing RRR, it to RRR, right? RRR, of course, fun. everything's now going to be compared to RRR. Or in terms of international success, it absolutely will be. And apparently, this movie is on the same path, if not more, right. which is very impressive. Because yeah, that's yeah. the thing: if, if a movie well, breaks we, the dam like that, listen, if it's playing at a suburban it. Maryland movie theater, it's playing yeah. at Cinemark, right? Yeah. So you know, Ralph and I will do a trailer reaction that nobody will see. So we're excited <laughs> about that. Yeah. Awesome. To this, day, that, that, to this day, that makes no sense to me that how a studio would have a problem with somebody talking. Listen, about did you guys see the Flash uh, uh, trailer? The trailer, During yes. the Super Bowl? Yeah, yeah. Uh, right after the game, I saw four trailer reactions to it. So oh, yeah. why are they able to do I don't know what we're doing wrong, but we'll have to sort that one out. Yeah. That's not for And we, we can't do one from 2012. All right, so let's go to the wheel. All right, how much we got left here? There we go. I don't okay, know. Okay, not what? too many. Six. six. Okay, six, including okay. the Forrest Gump, which that's a Sean. You thing, put you added know. that? I I told you Sean wanted me to put that in there. It's been well, on Sean's there. not here. Well, if it, if if it lands on that, we'll skip that. How's that? PK no, no. or Lagan? Deal? Oh, no, we can't. The, we can't, can't mess with the, the universe wheel. of the wheel. PK or Lagan? Here we go. Stand by. PK or Lagan? PK or Lagan. Oh, ah, there you go. Boom. I know why you want this one. PK. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. I can't hey, wait John, to see this movie. Does, that, does that star Amir Khan? Uh, it does huh, star. You know, we did that. a trailer review of this one. We did. And based on the trailer review, I think this might be about an alien. Well, the description no is about it. Um, that's no spoiler. I no, think, no. Uh, the, just, a... If you read the description of the movie, it says an alien. Okay, it's, so it's ET meets Indian Cinemaniacs. There we go. There so I go. cannot wait to watch this movie. I'm so but excited it, about. Make it. sure that it's not Mac and me, right? No, no it's not oh, Mac and no. me. Oh, God. You know this wheel is going to get down to one left, and it's going to be the Forrest Gump. Should I? I should maybe dump that before Sean and no, that. Well, it's, our, it's out our there fans already. do not want us to watch that movie. I guess that might be a great episode. Yeah, we'll agree with them so hard. <laughs> but well, we'll how give long it a chance. It? I don't want to. I don't want to just agree on a dumb movie if it's three and a half hours long. Well, well, yeah. You, you know, but Lagan is four hours, and you haven't yeah. seen that, so you don't know if it's good. So uh, we'll don't, I wouldn't be too quick on that one either. Hmm. When I say he's in love with Amir Khan, have I not he, seen that movie? He's in love with Amir oh, Khan. Did you watch it? <laughs> I watched. I did watch it. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. I did. All right. Good job, Chris. Yeah. I think you need to talk more. I, right. tell you something, Ralph, Ralph, I think I Great think work, something Chris. that escalated the show was how much Chris dominated it. I think I, mean, so. I, tell I think you I think he may add some new subscribers. I, his, I don't know, Chris. Why don't you send out the message, please, to everybody? Oh, yes. Well, you know, if you've enjoyed what you've seen today, please like and subscribe. Everybody who subscribes and likes help the helps the algorithm and helps us move up that chain. Yeah, Thanks we're so trying. much. And we're we'd trying like you to make... smash the like button. Okay, oh, just smash, smash it. it. Don't, don't just like it. it. Yeah, no, no, you have to. It makes a difference in the algorithm. Right. So hit that like button, everybody. Smash All right, guys. it, baby. Good job. Yeah. Sorry, Sean and Debbie weren't here. I think they would have loved. I think Debbie would have loved this film too because there's a yeah, lot I'm, of. Yeah, I'm those... curious to know what they yeah. would have thought about, this especially movie. that chunk. I know in the they both saw it. Religious yeah. statue. I think she really would have uh, had some things to say. So I think yeah, she would have about missed. 40 minutes yeah. of things to say about exactly. that statue. So, yeah, <laughs> we'll see them next week. And then Chris right, would never had any time to talk. So that's right. Maybe it worked out. Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe like the alien, things happen for a reason. <laughs> the alien, yeah. Everything happens. All right, good job, everybody. All See right. you next week. See you next week, See you everybody. Guys. See ya.